It was a country far away. Its land was lush, the ground was fertile, there was a lot of money to be made over there. The people were wealthy, the place was awesome. However, they couldn't get their act together. They couldn't just make things happen, so they wanted to appoint the king. They tried to find somebody, they couldn't find anybody. So they decided amongst themselves that they're going to go take somebody from a different country and bring him in. But they won't tell him why. And what they did is they brought somebody in, they crowned him, they made him king, he developed the place, he made the place great, he built an empire, stocks went up, agriculture was fantastic, importing, exporting. After 10 years, they took this king, they put him on a little boat, and they sent him off with nothing. Then they go out, and they bring another person in. And this other person comes to this country, and he sees this kingdom, and they made him king. He doesn't know why. He says, this is great. He's running the place. It's a great show. There's a lot of food, a lot of fanfare. Everything is fantastic. He builds the place even more. A few years go by. They put him on a boat, and they send him off with nothing again. Comes the third guy. They bring the guy in. Guy walks into a massive palace. This guy was wiser. He says, what's going on? Nobody answered him. Everybody shied away from him. People ran away. Then he grabs one guy and goes, come over here. And this guy was flustered. He didn't know what to do. And he says, I want you to tell me right now why you people made me king. So he had no choice. And he said, listen, what we do over here is we make people king. He built the place up. And then we send him off with nothingness. So the guy thought, okay, it's, it's a bittersweet. Because it's fantastic to be the king. It's great to be the king. It's so nice to be the king. But then they send me off with nothing. So what did he do? This king was wise. What he did is he built, he amassed, and he, 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 he got greater and bigger. And what he did was he took that stuff and he shipped it off somewhere else. He enjoyed where he was. He was king. He played the whole role. He bought whatever he wanted to buy. He ate whatever he wanted to eat. But the main merchandise he sent off somewhere else. This way when they took him on his little canoe and they sent him off, he had a massive palace to go to. He had tremendous merchandise for eternal bliss. The rabbis tell us that this world is that country, and our body is the kingdom, and we are the kings. And we're here, it's a bittersweet. We're here for a certain amount of time, and we're supposed to enjoy, and we're supposed to have a great time, but we're really building, and we're really amassing for somewhere else. And the way we build, and the way we amass, and the way we develop our eternal home, our eternal home of bliss, is to keep the Torah, to keep the commandments, to love Hashem and follow His ways. Somebody was asked, how could you demand an emotion? We have Torah thought, you have an emotion that you have to love God. You have to love your God. I understand you tell me to do a commandment, don't eat non-kosher, or I have to keep Shabbos. But how could you tell me an emotion? How could you command, how could you demand of me an emotion? So I was told there's a Gemara, there's a, in the Talmud there's a case, where a father or husband, a husband overheard his wife speaking to his daughter. Awkward situation. The mother's talking to her daughter, and the father overhears the conversation. And the father hears the mother say to her daughter, Why are you so loyal to your husband? I'm not loyal to mine. And the daughter's thinking, What? She goes, Really? You have ten brothers? None of them are from your father except for one. Now the father overheard this. And the, the Talmud tells us that the father on his deathbed, obviously we know why, as he's dying, he screamed out, he said, all my possessions go to one child. And the children had no idea what he was talking about, who he's talking about, what's going on. So they went to the rabbi, and the rabbi said, sit Shiva, after you finish mourning, you'll go to your father's cave, or you'll go to your father's tombstone, and you'll go there with sticks, and you will beat the tombstone, all ten of you, until you get your answer, you'll get your answer. And they're like, wow, okay. So that's what they did. They finished mourning, and they went to the tombstone, and they beat the tombstone, and nothing happened. They came back to the rabbi, and they said, Rabbi, what's going on? What, are you playing games over here? He tell us to go to the tombstone to figure out where the, the money's coming from. What's going on over here? So the rabbi said, you went down there? We went down there. You hit the grave? We hit the grave. All of you? Almost all of us. One of us didn't go. So the rabbi says, I want to speak to him. So they bring in the one that didn't go, and they said, how come he didn't go? She says, Rabbi, you can give me all the money you want in the world. I am not hitting my father's tombstone with a stick. The rabbi said, that's the son from the father. That's the only real father. Because God imbued in the person an innate love that he has for his father. Hashem, God imbued in the person an innate love that he has for his son. God imbued in the person an innate love that you have for Hashem, for God. 
A personally, a person naturally loves the Rebona Shalom. He loves a Baruch He loves Hashem. He's not mandating something from you that you don't have within you. You love Hashem, you have it inside of you. The more you learn about Hashem, the more you get to know Hashem, the more you love Him. We're all very lucky that we have such a situation over here where we all come together to learn about Hashem. And the more we learn about Hashem, the more we love Hashem. And we should all merit to love Hashem with all our hearts and all of purity. Amen. 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 Amen.